We use the term soft skills a lot, but we could just as easily refer to these as survival skills. For those of you that have been in this business for a while, think back 20 years. The students that we graduated back then would take jobs where they would literally be locked in the basement, locked in a machine room, locked in a computer room, and the, the students in the technical area were always kept separate from what I call the general population. That's not the case anymore. Today, we're finding that employees have to work across all spectrums of the organization. They have to be productive members of work groups and teams. They have to be forward-facing and work not only with internal clients, but external clients and constituents. And so having these types of skills are all the more important. Technology skills are a commodity. They're not like they were 20 years ago, where the computer-trained person was a rare anomaly. Today, lots of people have technical skills. They're important, and I'm not negating that, but technical skills alone are not the key to success. Instead, the key to success is having a wonderful technical background, and employers still demand that, but also to have those soft skills, professional skills, business acumen, interpersonal skills that are absolutely essential in today's marketplace. There's a lot of soft skills that are important to learn, but if I was to prioritize them myself, I would say communication, communication, and communication. Well, wait a second, that's three of the same thing. Let me break that down a little bit. Communication, particularly written communication, both formal and informal written communication. Communication oral, both formal and informal. And since I need a third, I would add professionalism or professional skills. That's an interesting one that we're starting to hear a lot more from employers about. They're concerned that students are graduating and don't really know how to behave and act as a professional in a regular corporate environment. So where do you fit things like soft skills into your program? Well, you know, soft skills are one of those topics that you can easily plug in when you've got those little natural gaps and breaks in a traditional class. But you know what a lot of people are having a lot of success with is doing what we call a blended approach. Maybe they have an on-ground class and they'll cover soft skills as an online element. And the soft skills guide was really designed to easily be deployed online. Certainly if you're teaching an online class, it makes perfect sense that you can add these elements and students will be engaged in class, outside of class, and the more engagement we get, the more our students are gonna learn.